Dan Z versus Robin already round one is going to be crazy. So let's hop into there. Dan Z and Robin, of course, both made top four at last year's version of the War of 04. This is an absolutely crazy round to start us off with. And, and Hera I'm, looks I'm like already, we're running it back. Yeah, and I'm already looking at, the, looking at the game. We see just Robin back on that magma. You know, I mean, if, it, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? And magma has proven itself for Robin Schultz, proven itself for 2004 World Champion Tsukiyoshi Yamato. So this is just the deck of champions. But yeah. right now, uh, the deck of champions is a little bit sleepy. That Groudon is fast asleep, took a lullaby from that Skitty. So we might be off to a bit of a slower start from this Magma deck, which is known for its fast starts, typically. Groudon definitely wants to get aggressive. The fact that Dan has this 40 HP Skitty up front, too, is, makes it extra crucial that he got the heads flip with the lullaby. Otherwise, this Groudon could have easily knocked it out with a weak <laughs> linear attack. But once again, stays asleep, buys Dan another turn. Hopefully this Steven will get him something. Now I'm looking at this, and one thing I see is your very, very favorite Pokemon card. Now there's two of them. We have that... Oh, that's a Delcaddy. We have two of that, of the, of that uh, Ditto in play. Now that Ditto was, was teched back in 04, back in the day, but it was kind of fringe tech, but... Lately, it has become one of the shining stars of the 04 metagame. And, I mean, clearly, if we can, if we can judge from uh, Dan Z's list, clearly uh, that's not ch changing anytime soon. Ditto is here to stay. Yeah, so this is that newer Blaziken idea that we've seen crop up in the last few years. The idea being that Blaziken already is a powerful engine, it's a powerful attacker, so this deck tries to streamline itself instead of relying on tech attackers like that Rayquaza EX that I know you love so much, Kara. We just have this versatile, it. solid ditto. And by far the best thing that ditto applies to Blaziken is that it is phenomenal against Gorbis. Two energy, thanks to the prismatic body, you are easily reaching the threshold to knock out a Gorbis with your own Mystic Water. You know, it's so funny because that Ditto was initially played in 2004, back in the day, as a way to deal with that Rayquaza that was once ubiquitous. But it's, it's so interesting to see that even as the Rayquaza has kind of fallen out of favorability, that Ditto has still found a new home, now answering the ever-present Corvus. And unfortunately, Ditto is also a good counter to Rayquaza as well, so... That also kind of... As, as it always was. Yeah. <laughs> now, there are no Rayquazas showing up on Robin's board, of course. Now, Dan not really getting the setup he wanted. He missed a Dunsparce and is so far pretty lacking on any basic Pokemon on his board. You have to imagine right now that Robin is favored in this situation. Yeah, and the, the Sleepy Groudon woke up. The, um, the, the bench is... Full of Magma Pokemon now, so that Power Saver body is not holding it back. It's time to uh, get in there and start uh, doing some pulverizing. Yeah, even without oh. having his I own... Say, I say that, but we just saw the near attack onto the Blaze again. I like that play. Because the Special Dark is on the Groudon, Robin is already threatening a knockout on the Blaze again if it ever comes active this turn. I think... Look, I like the play too, but I just... I just... Love saying pulverize, and I, I wish that I had more opportunity to say it. I guess linear attack is fine. Well, we'll be saying it soon enough. Robin is playing the patient game. The way this matchup seems to go, from my experience, is that if Groudon has the time to just linear attack all the Torchics and set up 20 damage on them, this sets you up for a special dark boosted pulverize, as you like to say, for 80 damage, which is going to clean up the Blaziken, so... Right now, it seems like Robin has a lot of the momentum right here in this first game. Yeah, I d definitely agree. That Groudon has 100 HP, only 10 damage on it, so that Blazing is not particularly threatening it. Now, what I have seen from my time in this matchup is that that regular Firestream Blaziken is, on Blaziken's side, one of the big stars. If you can Firestream a lot, you're going to be in pretty good shape. That 10 bench spread adds up quick. Absolutely. And 
Yeah, it's right now we really see neither player is is really getting the basic Pokemon that they want. Robin's had this ball toy for a while, but no clay at all, no numbles or camera ups in sight. Those are normally Pokemon that you would want to be spreading damage onto that camera up in particular so that it can eventually get knocked out. But right now, Robin or Dan just trying to bide his time doesn't want to promote this Blaziken yet since it's just going to get taken out by a single Groudon. So very tough position here right now. So now I, I wonder, is, is Robin going to finally put on the pressure, pulverize the Ditto, say, okay, you got to promote something kind of kind of awkward because you know he's done his thing, he's set up that, that Blaziken for the damage, now maybe time to turn on the pressure. And yeah, as you say that, we do oh, see him know, attached we, we, to Zangoose. We saw, we saw something a little bit awkward here. Robin wanted to use Steven's advice to dig a little bit deeper, probably trying to get that Nummel and get that ball toy. So he benched another Zangoose. Now I imagine he doesn't want to be playing down a bunch of Zangoose in this matchup. I think the, the, the second one was just to turn on that Power Saver, or turn off that Power Saver, rather. And the third one was just to get his hand size down so he could actually play with Steven's advice. But now his bench is a little cluttered with Zangoose. He's going to have a hard time establishing the camera up, the harder time setting up a backup Groudon. So, you know, he has the tempo in the game, but he's put himself in a little bit of an awkward position doing so. Yeah, Zangoose is a decent card in the Magma deck, but there are not many situations where you want to have three of them on your bench here. So the good news now is that, for Robin at least, he does get to... What attack did he use to knock out the Ditto Kara? You know, if I had to guess, I'd say it was probably a Pulverize. Oh, Pulverize. That's what it is. Right, right, right. Yeah. So now that he's Pulverized the Ditto, he is in a good spot to Pulverize this Blaziken. And Dan needs an answer right now. If he does not rip a... Done sparse off of this. Oh wait, he played Oracle. Okay. Okay, so, so he's, he's there we go. Two more torchic. Hopefully he's got like some some more Blaziken in hand. I mean, I, I thought if he had rare candy Blaziken, he'd probably slam it right now, but maybe he has another Oracle for next turn. But there's that fire stream, getting the damage going. And now if if Dan can come up with another Blaziken and figure out a way to attack with it, Robin's gotta start rebuilding. Now if Dan stumbles then Groudon can pulverize to his, heart, his heart's content. So this is going to be kind of a pivotal turn. We have that second Groudon down, have the energy attachment, but currently we don't have a way to accelerate energy. So if that Groudon goes down, we're going to miss a pulverize. Well, you, no one's going to miss it more than me. Dan promoting the Torchic with the energy attached does not bode well for a fire stream this turn. Otherwise, he likely would have... Oh! oh. Okay, well... There we go. Now okay. we... Never mind. He has a 75% chance of knocking out this Groudon right now. Yeah, and, I mean, that'll, that'll do it, probably. And now the, the lack of camera up is really hurting D Robin. Now, one thing that we saw at last year's War of 04 was that the... Um, oh, no. The count on... Oh, my Desert gosh. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, hold, I'll hold that thought, because we saw that 25% chance happen... Blaze kick flip tails, burn, and then Robin got a favorable burn flip, so the Groudon survived. That has to be devastating for Dan Z. And this is why Robin was a world champion and our champion for last year as well. This is what you gotta the do. World sometimes. champion difference right there. This is actually devastating for Dan. It could be worse if Ro if Robin has a Claydol and a Briny, then this would be the absolute worst case scenario. So. Okay, well, we oh. see the briny. Okay, no play at all, though. But still, that sucks if you're Dan. Yeah, definitely not what you want. Now, I want to, I want to go back to this. One of the things that changed we saw last year was that the count of desert ruins in lists has dropped. We saw a lot of people running, running like three to four historically, and as, as these Gorbis decks became more popular, as Blaziken started moving away from its Pokemon EX some, the Desert Ruins became less of a pivotal card, and so we saw people running maybe like one or two Desert Ruins instead of a heavy count. So, you know, Desert Ruins was the big, uh, one of the big risks to playing down the Blaze of X historically. Now, you know, we'll see how much it comes into play in this game. That Blaze of X might actually get to Blaze Kick some. 
Yeah, that's a very good point. These Blaziken EXs, I mean, 150 HP is ridiculous, and most Blaziken lists today are playing one copy of Pokemon Nurse. If that's what Dan decided to bring to this tournament, then this Blaziken EX could do a lot of work, and he's probably going to need it to right now. Down three prizes to six here with two Groudons, one of them powered up and ready to attack. It's still looking that's, tough, but this Blaziken EX that's... might bring us over. Yeah, now he's stabilized, at least. He's got a couple of Delcaddy. He's got a Blaziken, a Blaziken EX. He's got a lot of cards in hand. So, you know, the, the Groudon's scary. It could pulverize again real soon. But Dan's got, got some uh, return play now. Yes, very curious to see what his long-term play is going to be right now. He's attaching the energy to the... Blaziken on the bench, which makes sense, setting that up as an attacker. If this Blaze Kit can actually hit for 50 damage, then Dan is in a good position to clean up the Groudon with a Fire Stream. Okay, and there we go. We actually got ahead okay. this time. So now, the ball's in Robin's court a little bit. That, that Groudon can pulverize, but there's a very, very strong chance that it goes down. And he could pulverize that Blaziken. That Blaziken could retreat... I'm sorry, that Blaziken EX could retreat to Blaziken... We could have a Fire Stream and a Pokemon Nurse. I mean, you know, not necessarily, but it's, it's within the realm of possibility, and that would be a big, big tempo grab from Dan Z. Dan's got 11 cards in hand with two Delcaddy on the board, so if they can manage to pull off that combo, I think that would be the best chance for Dan to really start to put on this pressure. Robin, this triple Zangoose is really hurting. No clay at all on the board, no camera ups in sight. It is looking a little tough. I'm not saying he's out of it, but I do not think he has any more of the initiative that he may have had at the start. Yeah, this, this is, is definitely even game. Dan Z's opening. So, very, very interesting to see what happens next. And Robin, I think, is powering up the other Groudon. Might go for a linear attack on that Blaziken to kind of uh, preempt the, uh, that potential play. But yeah. it's still scary because... If, if he linear attacks that Blaziken on the bench, he doesn't have a good way to follow up. And there's a linear attack, but he doesn't have a, a Pulverize ready to go. So. He, he could have Magma Energy plus Strength Charm. That would be oh, sufficient. You know That's true. But if you're Dan oh. Z right now, I don't see a reason to not just use Blaze Click again and hopefully get the 75% chance of knocking out the Groudon. Yeah, because nothing is going to knock out that Blaziken short of like you know, some, um, some, some, some Claydol tricks hitting for weakness. True. And right now, Claydol has, is nowhere to be seen. The ball toy has no energy onto it. This Zangoose is holding two energy. Ro Robin would have really loved to have those energy sitting anywhere else. You know, that Zangoose was another casualty of the shift in the format over the last 20 years because that Zangoose was really, really good when Rayquaza EX was a threat. A lot that team play is a lot less good when it's not hitting for weakness. Now it's not bad. Call for family helps you get set up. Team play does put on early pressure, and that magma energy lets it come come up the gates faster. But still, Zangoose is not the attacker it used to be. It's Groudon's show through and through. Yeah, we even saw that in last year's event. Robin opted to only play three Zangoose, and I'm sure he's not alone in that choice. So, even choosing to reduce the Zangoose counts, and as we say this. Oh. There it is, another heads that Blaze Kick takes out the Groudon. Your move, Robin. Wow, this Blaze Kenny X is doing a lot for Dan. It still has 120 HP left, Kara. It is nowhere close to getting knocked out at the moment. Now, I will say this Robin was putting energy on a Zangoose. And it's not optimal, certainly. But remember that Claydol could come down. And so when, when that Claydol's in the mix, the thing, the thing that's most important is that the energy is in place somewhere, so play it off and take advantage of it. Yes. So, we, and you know, like, if, if Dan Z were to target down that Zangoose with, say, a Volcanic Ash, that would, that would be energy he's investing to knocking out something that's not a Groudon. So I definitely, I definitely kind of like what Robin was doing in putting energy in the Zangoose. Kind of hedging, leaving the team play option open but also making sure that energy's down so it can be magma switch later. And speaking of, here's Claydol. Hi, Claydol. Yeah, there actually was a world where Robin could have pulled off the Dark Hand knockout this turn 
if he had gotten Claydol and Magma Energy and was able to draw enough cards with his supporter to beat Dan's hand. Now, both players right now have double-digit hand lot. sizes, so it is asking a lot. And as the hand sizes get bigger and bigger, it's really tough for Magma to outpace Blaziken when it comes to having a big hand. So yeah, instead, that's, that's what makes Blaziken such a such a good deck. It just it has this Del Caddy engine so strong, and it has so much raw power that if it if it gets set up, if it has the resources, it can just kind of keep the stream of of pressure, and it can do better things than any other deck in the format can do. I mean, back in the day, Volcanic Ash being able to snipe any Pokemon for 100 damage was unprecedented. It was like people were like on a state of panic over how powerful that card was. <laughs> It's, it is amazing that they wouldn't even print a 2 for 50 energy attack. That was too much. And I don't even necessarily disagree. It's just funny that this is what Blazekin EX has to look like. Now, okay, looking at this board, Dan, you talk about drawing cards. He's at five cards left in his deck right now. And oh, at this okay. point, he's gearing up for a Volcanic Ash, Kara. It's finally time. There it is. Yep. Now, his hand size is low. It's at nine. Robin's at ten. He's going to draw a prize card here to go up to 10 oh. cards in hand. Robin has an opening to Dark Hand this turn, Kara. Now, Dan is feeling pretty confident. Put a fifth energy on that blaze and say, you know what? You better answer this right now or I will Volcanic Ash again. So it's the ball is abs. Oh, never mind. There goes the clay at all. He read it like a book. Yeah, that's of, of great. Course, recognizing a threat. What are you going to do? Pulverize me? Okay, I got 150 HP. Good luck. And at this point, Dan has seen basically his entire deck. If the nurse is not prized, it is almost surely in his hand. If it's also now, in the deck. I want to say one thing that's 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 interesting here. Because if I don't know how many uh, Desert Ruins Robin is running, I would guess I would take a, a shot in the dark and say maybe two. But Dan has taken the initiative and played down the first stadium. So that means that theoretically, Robin could try to stick a Desert Ruins. That would be and huge. That could, that could be a big deal. Absolutely. Now, hey. we'll see how much how much time we have for Desert Ruins to take effect with Pokemon Nurse in the mix. Dan is fully established. Three Blades again. A Blades can he acts. I mean, he's, he's going to be fire streaming every turn for the rest of the game. So we'll see what things uh, end up looking like. But here we go. Let's Dark take a look at... Route on. So Dan actually has three warp energy in his discard pile. He had to toss them for his energy draws early on, which means that he is completely out of warp energy. So at this point, streaming Volcanic Ash is going to be pretty much not possible. He's going to have to just alternate Volcanic Ashes every turn after the upcoming attack on his next turn with the three energy attached to the EX right now. I mean, I, I think if he Volcanic Ashes again... He's, he's pretty happy just fire streaming. Yes. Although Robin would go down to one prize if Dan keeps this Blaze Kenny X active and knocks it out, and if Robin can respond, with Robin's board right now, I think Blazikens are very comfortable to just spam fire stream for the rest of the game here. Still think Robin has a chance, but this window is rapidly closing as he is on pace to lose his second grout onto the discard pile. So that Groudon could go down to a Volcanic Ash, but that Blaziken will almost certainly go down to a, um, a team play from the Zangoose. Now that said, here comes a regular Blaziken, so let's see. I mean, we're loading up energy with Firestarter. Dan Z seems to agree here. All right, there's the Fire Stream. Conserving that Blaziken the Axe, saying, you know what? We're not going anywhere. That Blaziken, or that Volcanic Ash can take prizes anytime. Yeah, because if you're if you're Robin, what are you even going to do? If you want to try to ping down this Blaziken, you're going to need a double linear attack, which certainly opens the door for Dan Z to drop a Pokemon Nurse next turn. Oh yeah, that if if he does a, another linear attack, that active Blaziken is thrilled because he can he can survive two more turns easily, and that's just screams Pokemon Nurse time. Yeah, and that's the other thing, is that Dan was able to get the fourth Blaziken on the board. Robin had to take a turn off of Linear Attack, so this Blaziken has no damage on it. It cannot be one shot right now. This is exactly what you dream of if you're the Blaziken player in this matchup. Now, the one thing that might be a factor that we need to at least have on our radar is Dan Z is down to three cards in deck. So 
you know, a lot of these people are running town volunteers, but if there's no way to reload the deck a little bit, I mean, deck out is theoretically on the table. Those energy draws definitely added up. So I'm curious to see what happens here. So Dan Z... Pokemon reversal heads. Let's, yeah. let's, see what, let's see what Robin grabs with that. Well, if he wants to, he can steal two prizes right now, or he can knock out this Blaziken on the bench with two fire energy and 20 damage on it. I think it's super tempting to take out the EX, yeah, which it looks like it Robin's going to choose to do. But yeah, take away the nurse initiative right now. Take your two prizes while you can. You talked about Dan Z's deck only being three cards. He already has a Town Volunteers in his discard pile. So unless he plays two copies of Town Volunteers, which some Blaziken players do, he only has the three cards in deck and the nine cards in hand as Robin goes down to one prize card remaining here in round one. Yeah, I definitely think two town volunteers is not uncommon. The uh, our Blazken player um, U twelve who came in second place last year ran two town volunteers, so anything can happen. But now, here we go. Third energy in the Blazken. We're going to see a fire stream, and it's going to be up to Robin to to cobble together a response from what he, from what he has. I'm very so. intrigued to hear what Robin has in hand right now. Ten cards, about to draw an eleventh, but no Groudon's in play. A lot of Pokemon with 40 HP or less remaining. This this is do or die now if you're Robin. It is camera up or sorry, Groudon or Bust at this point. Now one thing that one thing that we, we haven't seen or even talked about yet is I mean we could see a Desert Shaman give us some some uh, hand disruption. That card has proven to be not super popular in, in your average deck, but you know, we don't know. It could it could come into the mix. Shaman is an amazing card in this meta game. It's just it's, these these two decks are both so aggressive that I would be surprised to see a Magma or a Blaziken player play a Shaman. But if you're feeling good late in the game, it's one of the best cards that you can throw out there. I mean, if, if I'm if I'm playing Blaziken and I'm and I'm just setting up all these attackers that hit so hard, I have so much draw on these Delcaddy. I would love to you know have three Blaziken, two Delcaddy in play, and then play a Shaman and say good luck, opponent. I'm attaching four energy a turn and drawing seven cards a turn. Exactly. Meanwhile, here we see Robin attaches the magma energy, goes for the team play onto this Blaziken. So just setting up the damage, was able to drop the Groudon on the board. But with no clay at all, he's not able to power it up at the moment. The good news for Robin is that he has a two prize cushion into Dan. So he does have time to, to oh, set up this last attack. Here. So sorry. I'm very excited to see that. Yes. Second very good. Volunteers has come down. So if we take a look here, four energy and a Torchic. Good choice. Okay, so I, th I see a second Blaziken EX coming down. I think that's what, that's what Danzi is trying to do. Danzi is trying to set up another Blaziken, trying to put that uh, Volcanic Ash into the mix again. No way. Do you actually put Volcanic Ash right now? Oh my gosh, that'd be so nasty, Kara. We I know mean, he ripped you know, energy off the energy draw. Oh, it's, I, it's totally coming. There's, there's that energy on the Torchic. Wow, this will be fireworks if Dan can Volcanic Ash right now to end the game. Oh my god. Three energy. Now, I think there's no way that we see... Certainly we... That, oh, okay. And just a Blaze Kick. Oh! But a Blaze Kick is good enough when you're flipping heads. And now, once again, we have that 150 HP tank in the active. And I mean... There is battle. a world, Kara. There is a world. Uh, it's not going to happen anymore. So it was, it was possible world. <laughs> for Robin to have another special dark or strength charm onto the ball toy, move the psychic to the ball toy, evolve into Claydol. Dark hand would be doing 80 damage before weakness, which would knock out the Blaze Kenny X. That was massive. Yeah, I mean, potentially Robin, uh, Robin might be trying to like drag up one of these one of these comparatively low HP Delcaddy. Okay. Never mind that desert ruins. We are Well Robin has one prize left, so now. if he can reversal the sixty damage Blaziken and team play, that would just be the game right there. That yes. was a devastating tales for Robin if it were possible. He's only played two reversal. We we he surely plays four in his list. So And only nice. plays one magma energy, which I have to imagine he's got he's got four of. 
Robin so yeah, biding his time. He does have one more turn. Yeah, one more turn, and well, it's getting scary though because um, he's gonna he's gonna need to have that um, he's gonna need to have that Claydol engine in place soon, or you know, if that active Zangus with energy goes down, the bench Zangus has no energy at all. So, I mean, we're coming up to the point where that where that energy acceleration is gonna be absolutely vital to keep Rob, Robin even moving. Yeah, it, it, he he desperately needs a clay doll. That's not a question. All right, darkness on Groudon, spreading it around. I like that. And he conspirated. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't get to see what it was, but presumably a Groudon, probably another energy. Ugh, this is this is tough right now. Yeah. Okay. Passes the turn. Danzy's turn beginning. First question is that Desert Ruin is going to get countered by another high pressure system. If um, if Danzy runs it, is a good chance in their hand. Yeah, I think Dan plays. There it is. There it is. Okay, so. All right. So if you are Dan, if you're Danzy, what would you be doing this turn? Are you going? To, are you going to take the risk on a, on a blaze kick? Are you going to just volcanic ash something? Oh, it's so tough. There, there's nothing that is truly safe here, and that's the problem. I guess maybe the safest. Oh, I mean, nothing's truly safe. If the the game could turn on its head with a single reversal flip. So Dan is actually in a predicament right now, Kara. He has one card in deck, and he has one fire energy in his discard pile. All the other energy are probably in his hand, which means that he cannot accelerate to anything, and he oh. can't use energy draw. Pokemon Nurse healing the sixty damage Blaziken, taking that target out of play. Now I think. If you volcanic ash, which doesn't look like he's gonna do. No. No, he's not. Oh, I was gonna say volcanic ash that Groudon so, so it can't uh threaten to hit Delcaddy for weakness, but you know, Dan has other plans. Down goes the Zangoose and up comes the Groudon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so once again, Robin needs reversal oh. heads and a magma energy. Oh, if we see a pulverize for game, I'm gonna lose it. This so, I mean, this is it. It's it's. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say it's do or die, but it turns out it's just die. Wow, wow. Robin has conceded. Has no out. Dan Z has taken down the champion. Blaziken triumphs over Magma. Someone tell Chris Fullop. <laughs> what what an amazing first round here to start off with. Two players that were likely favored to make the top eight once again. An incredible comeback for Dan there, was down three prizes to six, slowly clawed his way back. Robin unable to effectively utilize the clay doll during the game. And that's all Blaziken needs. Masterful showing. That was a masterful showing out of, out of, out of Dan Z. We just, we just had, you know, Dan biding their time, weathering the storm, and then just setting up this onslaught of Blaziken that just seemed insurmountable. Every tech went the distance. I mean, that was just shows why Blaziken is, is still, after all this time, maybe the deck of 04.